And welcome back to News Center. This is our second hour of the show. We are following for you quite a number of top stories this morning. One is that Migori Governor Kothobado and his fierce rival Ochilo Ayako are this morning expected to face the IBC Code of Conduct Enforcement Committee over the violence that you remember about two months ago rocked their campaigns. That's one of the top stories we have for you this morning. Another one is that uh, we're expecting any moment now that the CBA, the collective bargaining agreement uh, between the doctors and the Council of Governors is going to be signed any moment now and we'll be getting the latest details of that from our reporter. All right, so we just want to uh, link up with my colleague uh, Rita Tnina to talk to us about that top story. Uh, Rita, thank you very much for joining us. So have uh, the two leaders, that's uh, Okothobado and uh, Ochilo Ayako, already arrived at uh, the uh, venue where this is expected to take place? Okothobado was here uh, in the in person, uh, but the lawyer who was being represented by his lawyer and Mr. Uh, uh, Odiembo. The case here is it was filed by Okofo Bado. He is accusing Mochilo Ayako of instigating his supporters. He says they instigated uh, violence on the 30th uh, of last month in Migori. He is also accusing Mochilo Ayako, who is now vying as an independent candidate. He says in his posters he is using the picture of the NASA flag bearer right now, Dinga, as well as uh, ODM uh, colors. But uh, the lawyer for Ochilo Ayako raised several objections. One of them is that he did not uh, follow uh, the rules that require that uh, uh, the accused should be served uh, uh, with a complaint at least 48 hours before uh, the hearing of the matter. Uh, the commissioners here have uh, considered uh, that uh, issue and have now directed that uh, uh, Otilo Ayako be given time to prepare and the case will be had on the 11th, that is on uh, Tuesday next week at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. There are several matters that the committee is uh, looking into. There are uh, 12 cases in total, uh, two of them. Of course, Obado has two uh, matters, as I mentioned, against Tuchino Ayako. One uh, is the issue of violence, and the other uh, is on the use of campaign posters with a picture of Raila Odinga. There is also a case against uh, the Orange Democratic Movement by Nicholas Rumbo. He filed that uh, complaint on the 20th of last month, uh, but the commission says yesterday it received a, a letter from him withdrawing uh, that complaint, and so that uh, case uh, has been dismissed. Uh, the uh, committee saying it accepted uh, that request to withdraw um, the complaint. There is also uh, a case um, against uh, Kawira Mwangaza, and this is... Uh, a uh, candidate in the Meru County woman uh, representative position, it is by Florence Kajuju. He, she's not here yet. Uh, Kawira is also uh, not here yet. And so there are among those 12 cases, uh, three uh, involved uh, the governorship uh, position, as I mentioned, the one against Uchilo Ayako, one by Nicholas Gumbo, which has now been, been uh, withdrawn. And there's one case uh, for the women representative, woman representative uh, for Meru. There are three cases uh, for member of National Assembly. One is in Saboti constituency, one in Makadara constituency, as well as one in Bahati constituency. That of Saboti constituency has been uh, set aside. The hearing will be on Tuesday and next week. And another matter, one uh, for Kumwani County Assembly Award in Sahel constituency, there was no one, uh, they accused as well that the complainants were not here, so that matter has been set aside and the committee is now going on uh, with the hearing. It's Rita, just before I let you go, if any of these leaders indeed are found uh, culpable, what disciplinary action is IBC uh, mandated to take? Well, there are several options. Remember, uh, just uh, two weeks ago, the IEBC, in the first of its hearings uh, on the uh, violation of the electoral code of conduct, uh, several uh, uh, measures were taken. There was uh, a case uh, against uh, uh, Neto Adola, who has now been banned. Uh, uh, from the August 4th, there was also a case uh, in the Bungoma County. And the candidates then were filed, were fined one 